my channel and happy belated holidays you guys Merry Christmas happy Kwanzaa I hope you guys enjoyed it in the comfort of your own home that is by zoom facetiming your friends and family I hope you guys were able to still enjoy you know the holidays and you know your own little special way so I hope you guys are excited for today's video we're gonna be trying out two new products that NYX recently launched the first one this one is the NYX brow glue you guys this runs for $8 it's supposed to give us a 16 hour hold natural finish flake of free and obviously it's supposed to give us that laminated kind of a look effect that if you want to brush up your brows you can do that so I'm really excited to try this one out as for the NYX this is the lift and snatch brow tint pen this one's for $11 it came with 11 different shades and it's supposed to give us a 16 hour color payoff girl water resistant transfer proof natural finish so I'm really excited to try this out and to see you know how pigmented is it is it easy to use and what is it all about so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one because I do post videos weekly Weekly. And as always, let's jump on in and dry in our brows. For any of you who are new to the brow pen wave and don't really know what it is, let me explain really quickly because I feel like it will help us be all on the same page. I feel like it's self-explanatory, but it will help everyone be on the same page. And it says here, it's basically a brow pen to help fill in and draw in our brows and those little sparse areas that we wish we had a little bit more hair there. <laughs> so you guys, the shade that I purchased is in brunette. And it, to be honest, the shades I usually pick are brunette or medium brown. So I'm hoping I picked the right shade. I purchased this online. So I'm just crossing up my fingers. It works for me. And it basically is a pen, you guys. It is a normal pen. It's the size of a regular pen. I really like it. It fits comfortably in the comfort of my hand. So I can't wait to draw into my brows with it. And as for the filter point tip, it definitely looks looks really dainty, really like small. I'm definitely different than any of the brow pens I have reviewed here on my channel. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it really quickly on the back of my hand. So it definitely feels really flexible. It is pretty pigmented. And to be honest, it looks like a dark black charcoal kind of brow shade. So I'm a little nervous just because I wish it was a little bit lighter, more of a brown, not more of a black. But I feel like it's gonna work just because my hair is pretty, you know, dark right now. So I'm a little nervous because if I'm not cautious, it can I can make my brows look pretty harsh and I don't want that. But as for the brow gel, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging really quickly. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, it's supposed to be non-sticky, the formula of this brow gel. So I'm really excited about that just because I don't want it to be sticky throughout the day. You know what I mean? So this is basically it. It's pretty small, but I do love the packaging of it it is clear let's see if it smells like anything it does have like a little brush kind of spoolie to it and it kind of smells like glue but very very lightly like you have to get really close to it but it kind of smells like school glue in a sense but I'm really excited to try this out the consistency of it does look kind of like sticky like kind of thick so I'm kind of a little nervous but we'll see so what I'm gonna do you guys on once in my face I'm gonna go ahead and on the right I'm gonna go ahead and draw my brows using the brow pen and then I'm gonna brow, apply the brow gel after and then the left side I'm just gonna apply the brow gel now and kind of do that laminated look and kind of brush them up in place and then let it sit for a second for it to dry and then I'm gonna go in with my brow pen and draw them in and just see what are the differences in both methods and if I notice any any differences been doing between doing one or the other. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and do my brows and then I'll come back and give you the full tea. and then talk about them you guys so I do want to mention that I'm honestly really happy that I thought of doing my brows two different ways for today's review just because I had two different totally different effects 
on how my brows looked and I'm hoping that it picks up on camera. So let's start off with the right side brow <laughs> and more of the traditional way that I typically do my brows. So I went in with the tinted brow pen, drew in my brows and then gave it a second and then went in with the brow gel to set my brows in place. And to be honest, I really like this fill to the point tinted pen you guys it's really really nice it definitely the filter point tip to it is pretty short i'll throw an up close clip so you guys can see it it is pretty pigmented as well but with that said i definitely feel like i had control of how i was drawing in my brows i was able to go in if there was any little mistakes that maybe where i added a little bit too much pressure i was able to go in with a angled brow brush and kind of diffuse the color and kind of you know kind of fix the little mistakes that i made which i really like that because you know you don't have to rush I don't feel like the formula dries out too quickly that you have to be in a rush trying to fix your mistakes so I really like that and I really love how easy it was to use I felt like I was able to do my brows very very quickly more than any of the other brow pens that I feel like I have tried so far and I really like it the only downside I wish that I picked a lighter shade just because I do find it a little bit to be a little too dark but I feel like it works because my hair is pretty dark right now as for a scent I didn't notice a scent to the filtered point uh, tip brow pen but I do love that it has like a little shaker ball to it I just feel like when I'm shaking I feel like I'm getting ink out of it and the only downside to this pen you guys that I can think about is this if you don't close it properly and you don't hear the little click to it it could potentially dry out and then you kind of you're kind of out of a pen a brow pen so that's the only thing as for the brow gel you guys I definitely went in applying the brow gel I will say that it did a really good job kind of moving little hairs into place and it really was easy the only downside to this is the wand the spoolie to this brow gel is a little short I wish it had a little bit more bristles just because I did find myself going in to the two more than once trying to apply enough brow gel throughout my brow so that's the only thing it definitely has a natural hold it doesn't feel crunchy I don't didn't notice any flakiness or anything like that so that is a really nice plus it kind of honestly doesn't feel like you have really anything on you would have to apply a large amount for you to kind of notice it but I feel like it holds really well in place and I really love that it didn't ruin the pigmentation of the brow pen that you know that I drew my brows with as for the left side of my face you guys that's a different story let's start off with the fact that I have never tried the lamination kind of effect of my brows or you know that's been a big trend lately you know the whole bra laminating your brows I've never tried that it doesn't seem like something that was really interesting to me that I wanted to give a try and to be honest I really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun I definitely found myself going into this little tube more than like five times trying to apply enough brow gel on the left brow just so I can kind of like smooth them out and really you know have them standing and kind of controlled and like even and like styled <laughs> so when I went in I gave it a second once I finished applying the brow gel I waited like about three minutes for it to dry out three to four minutes until I felt like it was dry I definitely can feel it <laughs> once it was dry I felt like it was in place and then I went in with the brow pen you guys and then I went in drawing them in and it was really really easy I really enjoyed it I felt like it was super easy work to you know draw in my brows and I felt like I didn't really notice and to like I I didn't really notice that I made too many mistakes, if that's what I mean. But I did notice that when I was drawing in my brows, and I'm hoping that it, you can catch it on camera. If not, I, I'm sorry, you guys. But I do want to mention that I did notice when I was drawing in my brows, the pigmentation changed. It turned a little bit more red, not as black, not as dark. And that kind of threw me off, and I didn't really like it. So that's the only thing in certain areas. I feel like maybe those are the areas where I applied a little bit too much brow gel, and maybe that's why I'm not really sure I'll keep testing this out and just trying to see maybe I apply too much brow gel that's a possibility or maybe I didn't wait long enough I don't know what it is it just felt like they were already dry so that's why I went in with it but so far I really love the effect I really love the brow gel definitely holds your brows up in place the only thing with this brow gel you guys that I'm worried about is just eight dollars I feel like we should have received a little bit more product I wish the spoolie the brush on this applicator was a little bit had a little bit more of the bristles to it just because I found myself constantly going in and trying to apply the brow glue on my brows and I just wish 
I didn't have to go in and do it so many times. Um, but I really love the packaging. I think it's really cute. Um, I love it's vibrant. Definitely it grabs your attention. I love that it's clear. It definitely has a thick consistency to this brow gel, you guys. And to be honest, there is a little light scent to it. To me, if you get really, really close, it smells like glue. <laughs> like school glue and that's the only thing but I didn't mind it it's something you have to get really close to lastly you guys I really love the fact that they came with 11 different shades for this tinted brow pen I feel like everyone can typically find a shade that will work well for them or at least close to and I really love the fact that this is $11 I feel like it's affordable enough that everyone can try this out without having to spend you know 30 plus dollars 20 plus dollars on you know something a little bit more higher end like Tarte or benefit but that is basically it you guys if you have any questions whatsoever please comment down below ask away and I'll do my best to answer your questions as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one it really does help out my channel and as always you guys I will see you all in my next video I love you guys so so much